Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Howard Feinstein uh, from New York and a film critic there. And I um, am very, very happy to be the moderator for this uh, critics talk, especially because it's with Mohammed Rasulov and uh, Rasulov. And now I've said it correctly. And uh, a film I've been following um, on its festival circuit and through Fortissimo and uh, uh, Goodbye, plus um, Iron Island, White Meadows. I, I think he's one of, uh, one of our most prominent filmmakers for sure. And uh, uh, so what I'd like to do is to start out the questioning with him and then I'll open the floor afterward if that's okay. How many of you have seen Mohammed's earlier films, or some of them? Uh, White Meadows, Iron Island. I'm going to make some connections with some of the earlier films, but nothing that is too far away for those who haven't seen them. Um, one thing I'd, I'd like to start is, this is, of, of the films that I've seen of yours, the first one with a female protagonist. And... Um, also very different from the, the lead males I've seen in White Meadows and Iron Island uh, who seem a little more complicit in, in um, some of the more negative things they get involved with. She's um, a, not only different gender, but a different type of personality. And I wanted you to uh, talk about if you don't mind, why? Why a woman? Uh, why, why did you make her like this? She's not like a martyr. Well, I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to be here. I'll tell you that I'm always looking at the film in the film. And I think that I'm محیط اطرافم این دفعه معطوف به توجه من به محیط اطرافم این دفعه معطوف به خوشوقتی شد که میبینم تو اطراف محیط زندگیم خوشونت غیر فیزیکی که آدم ها نسبت به هم دیگه متاثر از محیطی که باز درش زندگی میکنن انجام میدن و فکر کردم که این خشونت توی بالاترین سطح روابط انسانی جریان داره و اونو تحت تاثیر قرار میده. به نظر من یه جایی که دیگه رابطه انسانی واقعا کامل ترین شکلش رو داره و یه رابطه کامله یه رابطه مادر و فرزندشه و دلم میخواست نشون بدم که این خشونت جاری تو محیط اطراف چطور روی همچی رابطه تاثیر میذاره. بنابراین شخصیت اصلی فیلم یه زن انتخاب شد برام. ما پنج دو قسمت جواب بدین یا؟ نه تموم شد. اوکی. بخش دوم سوالش رو که بعد جواب میدم. بعد جواب. اوکی. I'm very happy to be here um, regarding your first the first part of your question. Uh, I'm very much inspired by the environment surrounding me and the people. And uh, well, at the time of making or writing the story for this movie, I was very much inclined into observing the constant aggression in people's behavior in my surrounding environment. Non-physical aggression, but an aggression in handling each other in human relations. And this is definitely uh, stemming from the environment that the people live in at the moment. But it can be seen at all levels of human interaction in, in, in our society. And it influences human interaction a lot, this aggression. Um, what I wanted to do was to show this aggression in one of the highest and most complete uh, relations in this world, which is the relationship between a mother and her child. So I wanted to show that aggression between mother and child. And that's why the protagonist was chosen as a female. Is the answer clear for you, Howard? Sure. Okay. Second question is that why the characters of the previous story are always a bit of a mixed bag, but in this story, it doesn't happen. I also think that this is related to the circumstances that I live in. The fact is that until the accident of the accident, 
انتخاباتی که تو سال 88 رخ داد من همیشه برداشتم از شرایط پیرامون هم این بود که آدمای اطرافم توی انفعال هستن اما بعد از اینکه اون اتفاق افتاد فکر کردم که خب اون انفعال تموم شده و نگاه هم یه مقدار راجع به قضیه عوض شد Regarding the second part of your question, uh, that the characters in my previous movies were more complicit with the negative things happening around them, uh, it also has to do with the um, atmosphere um, and environment around me while making this movie. Before the elections in um, the last elections in Iran, I always thought of the people around me that they're very complicit, that they tend to take what they get. But when the post-election um, demonstrations happened, it also became clear to me that no, people have something to say and they are not as complicit as they seem to be. Hmm. This is interesting that you said you're interested in making a film about aggression between mother and child. I can see that, but in a film that's full of men doing some not nice things to this woman, or at least her feeling threatened all the time by um, representatives of institutions, um, her husband not fully cooperating, even though we never see him, um, this lofty is a little shady, the man who arranges, um, that it seems like the mother-daughter relationship is relatively minor in comparison. در واقع اون خشونت جاری بین همه مردم و به وجود اومده تو رابطه انسانی بین همه اونا و تا بالاترین نوع رابطه دو تا انسان که اشاره کردم رابطه مادر و فرزند هم میتونه باشه تعمیم پیدا کرده و اساسا اون چیزی که خیلی توجه منو جلب میکنه اینه که چی چی هست که باعث میشه مردم نتونن به هم لبخند بزنن و یه جور خشونت غیر فیزیکی تحقیر کردن غیر فیزیکی تحقیر کردن مداوم نسبت به هم دیگه و یه جور بیاعتمادی رو توی مردم کاملا حس میکنن و این چیزیه که تلاش کردم توی داستان فیلم تا حدی نشون بدم و درباره رابطه بین اون مرد و اون زن من فکر نمی کنم در واقع مرد رو بتونم قضاوتی رج به کارش انجام بدم چون فکر می کنم به حال این دو تا انتخاب مختلفه و به هر کس حق داره اونجوری که فکر میکنه انتخاب کنه و هر دوی این آدما نهایتا محصول اون خشونت و اون سیستمی هست که داره در واقع خودش رو تو خودش باز تولید میکنه So that aggression is continuously flowing among everyone in society. That's the thing that I maybe wanted to focus on most. Um, what I also wanted to show is that it's everywhere, not only between strangers, but also in a very close relationship like mother and child. Right. So that's something that I wanted to uh, highlight. Um, what I'm really curious about 